In today's test, we'll see if eating papaya causes the same rise in blood sugar for someone with diabetes and someone without diabetes. Let's do the test. Hi everyone, I'm Raihan and I've been living with type 2 diabetes for the past 10 years. Papaya is a common fruit in our country, available almost all year round. If you have bleeding gums or cuts that take time to heal, you might want to eat papaya as it is rich in vitamin C. Additionally, papaya contains an enzyme called papain, which is very helpful for digestion, especially for those who experience constipation. For today's test, I'm eating 200 grams of ripe papaya. Typically, this amount of papaya contains calories 60, carbs 15 gram, natural sugar 10 gram, fiber 2.4 gram, glycemic index 59, glycemic load 8.5. Morali Madhula, a person without diabetes, ate the same 200 grams of papaya and tested his blood sugar. After eating, his blood sugar only rose by 0.8 millimole per liter, which means his blood sugar increase was quite minimal. Now let's see what happened to my blood sugar two hours after eating papaya using my continuous glucose monitor. My blood sugar spiked by 2.8 millimole per liter, which is much higher. If we compare the two results, the person without diabetes had an increase of 0.8 millimole per liter, while mine rose by 2.8 millimole per liter. That means my blood sugar increase almost three times more as a type 2 diabetic. Keep in mind that the amount of sugar in keys can vary from person to person. In conclusion, I would say that those of us with diabetes should be careful not to eat too much fruit or sweet. It's best to have them in moderation. If you have any question, please leave a comment. Bye-bye.